Hi, I'm Faye, and today I want to show you what's included in our rechargeable and waterproof training collar kit. Inside the box, we have the receiver, which is waterproof. You can actually submerge this receiver directly in water. We have the charger and power cord, the adjustable collar, the test bulb, two sets of contact probes, the remote transmitter, and of course, in the bottom of the box, we have the instructions. The first thing you'll want to do is charge the controller. You connect the cord into the plug using the jack right here, and you can charge both the transmitter and the receiver. You'll want to charge them for six hours for the first charge. Once the unit is charged, you can sync the remote with the unit. I'm going to show you how to do that now. Start by pressing the mode button on the controller. Then press the channel button and select channel one. You can see that by the little icon in the side. Next, you're gonna press the power button on the collar. You will hear a beep and see the green LED light turn on. Press the power button for five seconds and the green LED light will stay on. When the green light is flashing fast, it's in synchronizing mode. Next, you'll press the mode button on the remote and press the Y button. You will see the caller's response and that means that the item has paired successfully. If there is no response, press the reset button on the collar and try again. Now it's time to install the receiver's contact points. There are two different size probes, so you'll want to choose the one that suits your dog depending on its size and the length of the dog's hair. We're gonna simply screw the probes onto the receiver and then you'll thread the collar strap through the slots on the receiver. Now I'm gonna show you how to test the different functions of the unit. Start by pressing the mode button of the controller and switch it to LED light mode. Press the Y button on the receiver and the collar will flash, signifying that the LED light function works. To test the sound function, press the mode again and switch to sound mode. Press the Y button and you'll hear the receiver beep. To test the vibration function, press the mode button and switch to vibration mode. Press the Y button and the collar will vibrate. You can adjust the vibration up and down with the button on the side here. If it's not vibrating, check to make sure you have this turned up past zero. And finally, to test the shock function, take the test bulb from the package and put it on the receiver collar's contact points. Press the mode button to switch into shock mode and press the Y button again. You should see the test bulb light up just like with the vibration mode, and you can also adjust the level up or down. And that covers it.